The tides of war are turning. The Loyalists fall back beneath the advancing Patriot army, their hold on this land weakening by the day. But the Templars only seem to grow stronger. Though fewer in number, the threat they pose appears undiminished. Making matters worse, Washington chose to spare the life of Charles Lee. I am told he has taken refuge inside Fort George, and so my days are spent searching for a way to breach its walls. Of my father, there is no trace, and I am glad of it. If I can be rid of Lee, there may still be a chance for reconciliation, and through it, peace. Connor, he's asking for you. Hello, Connor. <gasps> Come now. Your sadness won't sustain me any more than that fool woman's soups and potions. Tell me of your latest exploits. Charles Lee has been exposed and the Patriots finally rid of him. They march now to secure the remaining cities that this country might finally be free. Then you have won. The land and your people are safe. Yet you seem troubled. Washington spared Lee's life. So long as he lives, all are in danger. The same is true for your father. When you first came to me, you understood what had to be done. Swore you'd see it through. If not for the Brotherhood, for your people, and all those threatened by the Templars. But with Lee gone, my father might... Listen to me. You have not come this far to throw it all away over misplaced sentiment. Both men must die. A Achilles. There is nothing more to discuss. Connor, I came as soon as I could. Tell me you bring good news. The Comte de Grasse said yes. You need only join his fleet in Chesapeake Bay and they will serve as required. But what exactly is it you intend? It's better that I show you. Charles Lee may have been dismissed. But it does not mean we are safe. But the commander... The commander underestimates the threat, and no more time can be wasted trying to convince him otherwise. I must do this on my own. Do what, exactly? Kill Charles Lee. He hides within Fort George, which is itself surrounded by a militarized district. I cannot hope to infiltrate it directly. So I will go under instead. Incroyable. The tunnels leading to the fort have been filled in. While I secure the Admiral's ships, I need you to clear them for me. And the ships? When signaled, they will bombard the fort. Breaching its walls and creating a distraction, I see. In the chaos, I will slip inside, find Charles Lee, and silence him forever. Lafayette promised me a fleet beyond compare and a captain without peer. Instead, I find myself greeted by one old ship in a boy in costume. I promise we are all you need, Admiral. I doubt this very much, but beggars do not choose. Hmm? And the ships I require? They are yours, provided we survive this. Well, what would you have me do? 
Hold the bay while I engage the main fleet. Should any British ships dare approach, destroy them. They must be kept from your town.
Hold the bay until they do. Oh, this is madness! You're alone and we're without reinforcements! Bastard. They say you took down that man of war all alone. Perhaps Lafayette did not exaggerate when he spoke of your abilities. 
As promised, my ships are yours to command. What do you require? Five of them must enter New York's harbor flying British flags. Wait, wait. I thought you might need some pirates killed or goods transported, and instead, you asked for us to... What, shell New York? No. Of course not. Ah. Only part of it. Explain yourself. I mean to infiltrate Fort George, but it is too well guarded. Cannon fire will breach its walls and scatter its guards. And a ship that flies the French flag could never get near it. You understand, then? Not at all. But a promise is a promise, even when made to a lunatic. I will light a signal fire when it is time for you to attack. Vous l'avez entendu. Récupérez leurs drapeaux qu'on puisse les accrocher. Allez, vite Hello, Connor. Welcome back. Is everything in place? Oui. Lafayette waits for you inside the tunnel beneath the city. business.
all their talk of liberty and equality, they call that in New York way. Tunnel will take you into the military district. And the Admiral? He waits for you to light the signal. And then the strike begins. And we will be there as well.
condition to fight. Need to stay away from the guards. Where are you, Charles? Gone. Come now. You cannot hope to match me, Connor. With all your skills, you are still but a boy. With so much left to learn. Give me Lee! Impossible. He is the promise of a better future. The sheep need a shepherd. He has been dismissed and censured. He can do nothing for you now. A temporary setback. He will be restored. Ah, you act as though you have some right to judge. Ah, you declare me and mine wrong for the world. Ah, and yet everything I've shown you, all I've said and done, should clearly demonstrate otherwise. We did not harm your... Ah, we did not support the crown. We worked to see this land united and at peace. Under our rule, all would be equal. Do the patriots promise the same? Ah, ah, they offer freedom, which I've told you time and time again is dangerous. There will never be consensus, son, amongst those you have helped to ascend. They will each differ in their views of what it means to be free. The peace you so desperately seek does not exist. No! Ah! Together they will forge something new. Ah! Better than what came before. These men are united now by a common cause. Ah! But when this battle is finished, they will fall to fighting amongst themselves about how best to ensure control. In time, it will lead to war. You will see. The Patriot leaders do not seek control. There will be no monarch here. The people... The people never have the power. Only the illusion of it. And here's the real secret. They don't want it. Ah, the responsibility is too great to bear. Ah, it's why they're so quick to fall in line as soon as someone takes charge. They want to be told what to do. They yearn for it. Little wonder that, since all mankind was built to serve. So because we are inclined by nature to be controlled, who better than the Templars? It is a poor offer. It is truth! Principle and practice are two very different beasts. No, Father, you have given up and would have us all do the same. Surrender, and I will spare you. Brave words from a man about to die. You fare no better. <laughs> Even when your kind appears to triumph, still we rise again. And do you know why? It's because the Order is born of a realization. We require no creed, no indoctrination by desperate old men. All we need is that the world be as it is. This is why the Templars will never be destroyed.
Don't think I have any intention of caressing your cheek and saying I was wrong. I will not weep and wonder what might have been. I'm sure you understand. Still, I'm proud of you in a way. You have shown great conviction, strength, courage. All noble qualities. I should have killed you long ago. We've got a problem. Haytham doesn't have the amulet anymore. But the temple's still sending data. There must be more to this story. <sighs> Only one way to find out. Old man. Achilles. What is it? Achilles has passed. I'm so sorry. He passed peacefully and with dignity. A service then? Yes. Please prepare something appropriate. I will see the grave is dug. Can you gather everyone? If you are reading this, I have failed to say goodbye as I wanted, but the time never seemed appropriate. I leave this land and all its resources to you. I trust you now know this place has become something of great significance. A community to serve as an example of what this would-be nation could become. But the larger and stronger it grows, the more fragile and difficult to defend it becomes. 
I hope your friends who are birthing this infant country understand this truth. Your unwavering tenacity and honesty have burdened you with responsibility far greater than any one man should bear. But you, if anyone, are capable. You have given an old man hope that all is not lost. And for that, I thank you. I ask that you lay my bones to rest on the hill overlooking the water. There is no other place on this earth I'd rather be. I am grateful to have met you, knowing you will guide this land and these people to a better future. Yours in brotherhood. Prayer and sermon do not suit this occasion. Achilles was not a man of God. Not my God, at any rate. But he certainly believed in a guiding force. And he is at peace now, and for that we can be grateful. We lay him to rest here, atop the bluff where he made his honorable and dignified life, so he can remain that comforting presence, the old man on the hill that we have all grown to depend on. You all had your own relationships with him, your own moments, and I implore you to return here when the time is right for you and share those stories with the waves and the trees. Achilles, you will be missed, but never forgotten. Go safely, old man, safely to where your soul need rest. I will make you proud, old man.
day, Connor. How are you faring? I will honor him in time. I just hope that what I do is enough. If anybody is capable of honoring a man the likes of Achilles, it's you, Connor. How is your church? It's everything I could have wanted and more. The people here are hardworking and appreciative of my services. They contribute more than most I've seen. I understand our God is not for you. But the community is strong when we gather within these walls. That much you should see. I will pass through one of these days. I never properly said goodbye to you. I was not ready. So here I am. The weight of my responsibilities never seems to diminish. There is always something else that needs fighting for. This is something you never warned me of. Maybe because you thought I would have been deterred. You would have been wrong, but I know you were not accustomed to that. <laughs> Life carries on here. The people seem happy. They are certainly safe at least for now. One of my brotherhood asked me something I have been struggling with. What happens if, when, we win? When we stop the Templars? It is a question I certainly do not know the answer to. Perhaps you did not either. I miss you, as I miss my mother. I hope all is well with you, wherever you are. Goodbye, old man. Until it comes time for me to join you, then I will bother you once again. <laughs> 